Hi everyone, my name is Eliza and I'm the Director of Counseling at McLean Bible. And I'm so glad that you joined us today. One of the things that we wanna do is really address things that are very relevant to the, the circumstance that we're all facing with the virus, but we want it to also be relevant beyond here as well. And so to start, we are going to address the issue of anxiety. I have a question here that I think is super important. Um, as we all kind of face more anxiety these days with a lot of threats and concerns that are thrown at us in the news and in social media and so forth with regard to what we're facing. So the question is, what can I do to lower my anxiety? And to answer that question, I think we first have to understand what's happening with anxiety as we are facing it um, with all that we're dealing with these days. And anxiety is important to understand that uh, it's going to impact us in various ways. Mike Emlett from CCEF describes anxiety as a whole person experience. And I love that because as believers, we can tend to think that maybe it's just a spiritual issue. Maybe I just need to pray more or confess my sin. And while those are definitely important things, that picture of it being a whole person experience brings in the reality that our bodies are actually active as well. And so asking this question, what can I do to lower my anxiety? We have to understand like what's happening in our bodies with anxiety. And the first thing I want to share with you is just understanding how our bodies respond to threat. We have two sides of our brain. We have the parasympathetic nervous system and the sympathetic nervous system. And that activates how we're going to respond to situations that we face in life. The sympathetic nervous system is our fight and flight. So when there's a threat, our brain kicks into that, that nervous system gets activated and our brain starts sending messages to, you need to either fight the threat or flee the threat. And it begins to prepare our bodies to do either one of those things. And one of the ways that it does that, and especially the way it shows up with anxiety is that it changes our breathing. Our breathing gets shorter, quicker, less deep, and we're, we're ready for the flight or the, or the, or the fight. Um, and so the way to counter that is to actually change our breathing. And so if you are asking the question, how can I lower my anxiety? One of the things I'm going to encourage you to do is focus on how you can practice changing your breathing. We want to take slow, deep breaths to activate the parasympathetic nervous system. Remember I said the sympathetic is fight or flight? The parasympathetic is rest and digest. And so we want to activate that. And one of the ways that physiologically we can do this is by slowing down our breathing. Taking slow, deep breaths in, three, four, five counts in holding it at the top, that's very important, and then slow counts out, three, four, five counts out. And one thing that I do as I practice this is I actually try to pair it, since we are embodied souls, I like to pair it with the truth of scripture. So as I breathe in for that five, six counts, I am also thinking on, a, meditating on a scripture. So just breathing in, be still and know that I am God. Hold it at the top, saying that same verse in my head. Be still and know that I am God. And then slowly exhaling. Be still and know that I am God. Pairing that spiritual truth with a physical relaxation technique allows us to not just care for our bodies physically, but our souls spiritually. And I think that's really tapping into the way God designed us. So practice that. Practice it on your own. Practice it with your kids. Um, practice it when you don't need it and then practice it when you do need it. A lot of times I, I hear people say, oh, I tried that and it didn't work. But the truth is it actually did work. You actually cannot stop what's happening in your body as you slow down your breathing. You cannot stop the triggering that's happening in your brain of that parasympathetic nervous system. You can't stop the fact that that rich oxygenated blood is going to the extremities as you hold that breath in. And it actually really truly is helping. So great question. What can I do to lower my anxiety? Hopefully that's helpful for you. Join us back next week as we continue to answer some of your questions that are related to your emotional, physical, and relational well-being. Look forward to seeing you next week.